Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. As usual, I am your host, Salas Ifiawe. Today, we're going to talk about the CAF Awards nominees that have been named by the Confederation of African Football. They are going to host the CAF Awards after a two year hiatus. Uh, since 2019, we've not had the CAF Awards. 2022, it is making a return in Rabat, Morocco. The nominees were named today and it will be further trimmed down. We'll look at the nominees and Ghana having only one nomination in there. We're also going to talk about Coach Otuado, who has stated in this interview that he is ready for the Black Stars role. Juggling the Black Stars role, the Dogma role, after signing a new three-year contract this week won't be an issue for him. He has spoken, we'll hear from him and what he had to say concerning that exactly. We'll also be talking about the new national team names that have been given by the Ghana Football Association. Now, uh, the Black uh, Galaxies will be the Chan team, which we used to call the Black Stars B. We'll be revealing the rest to you today. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. I'll start off with the new names that I've been giving to the various national teams. And the Chan team, which is local Black Stars or Black Stars B, as we used to call it, will now be named the Black Galaxies. Uh, the Black Sharks will be the Beach Soccer Team. Uh, the Black Comets will be the Ghana Under-15 Young Men's Team. And the Black Damsels, the Under-15 Girls Team. This is a rebranding, renaming going on with the Ghana Football, by the Ghana Football Association, uh, naming their national teams. The rest will be remain the same. The Black Princesses, the Black Maidings, the Black Satellites, the Black Queens, and so on as you already know them and the black starlets the under 17 side so that is the update on the ghana national team's uh, new name rebranding done by the fa now on to the confederation of african football and the players that have been nominated in the various group now cap revealed nominees mainly for the men's categories namely player of the year inter club player of the year and Young Player of the Year, National Team of the Year, and the Club of the Year. The nominees for the women's categories uh, will be announced in due course. And now, a stakeholder panel made up of technical experts, cap legends, and journalists decided on the list for the various categories, taking into consideration the performance of the nominees from September 2021 until June 2022 at all levels. The winners of each category will be decided by the voting panel each made up of CAF technical committee, media professionals, head coaches and captains of member associations and, and clubs involved at the group stages of the inter-club competitions. The CAF Awards 2022 will be held ahead of the final of the Women's Flagship African Cup of Nations that's in Morocco 2022, scheduled to take place between July 2nd and July 23rd. The event will also coincide uh, with the two-year anniversary of the launch of the CAP Women's uh, Football Strategy. The nominees, you can see some of them on your screen. But the CAP Awards will be held on the 21st of July. A player of the year nominees include the players on your screen right now. Riyad Mahrez, Bertrand Traore, uh, Blatty Traore, Edmond Tapsoga, Andre Frank, uh, Kyle Toko of uh, Cameroon. Vincent Abubakar had a great AFCON, uh, Frank Kessi, uh, Sebastian Halle, Mohamed El Nene, Mohamed Salah, Mohamed El Shawani, all them here listed you can see on your screen. Edward Mendy, obviously of her Senegal, most Senegalese and Egyptians dominating it here, one Algerian as well. Great to see some of them in here. Uh, Sadio Mane obviously in there and the favorite probably to win it this time around. Moses Simon of uh, Nigeria. Ashraf Hakimi of uh, Morocco. Yves Basuma also in there. Sofian Bufal is also in there as well. Uh, Nabi Keita as well. Uh, for the young, young men's player of the year nominees is where we find our Ghanaian man. Only Ghanaian nominated Kamaldin Sulemana uh, Dongo Watara, uh, he is with Burkina Faso, Karim Konate, uh, Jesus Owono, uh, James Gomez, also in here is Mohiba Kuruma, El Bilal Ture, Kikunmi Amo, uh, Pape Mater 
and Hannibal Metri. Coach of the Year nominees include Kamu Malo, Amel Abdul, Carlos Kieros of Egypt, Picho Mosemane of Alali, South African, Tom Seinfeld of the Gambia, he led them in that magical tournament in Cameroon, Florent Ibinge, Vahid Halilovic of Morocco, Ali Sisi of Senegal, favorite here to win it. National Team of the Year nominees, the men Burkina Faso, Cameroon, Comoros, Egypt, Equatorial Guinea, the Gambia, Mali, Morocco, Senegal, and Tunisia. The Club of the Year nominees for the men here, ES Sertif, Petro Atletico, TP Mazembe, Al Ali of Egypt, Ali Tripoli, Al Etihad, Raja Casablanca, Ares Bekani, Waidad ACN, Orlando Pirate. Those are the few nominees in there for the CAF Awards and the women's categories will come on later on. So let me know your thoughts in the comments box. Only one nomination for a Ghanaian in our very own Kamal Dean Suleiman. Not a great year for Ghana football. We can't be sure about that. The highlight being qualification to the World Cup. Besides that, we have a lot of work to do to prove ourselves on this continent. My next story has to do with Coach Otoado, who has spoken after his three-year contract extension with Borussia Dortmund. He says, coaching Ghana and Dortmund in the youth talent level is not going to be an issue at all. Let's have a listen to it. I mean, nothing is, is easy, but um, it's it's culpable because I don't have a, like a responsibility of a team, so that makes it a lot lot easier. I just try to help and assist the coach as an assistant, and so I have especially um, at the weekends I have the, the freedom to to watch the matches of the under 23, under 19, and under 17, and I don't, I'm not always with the first team, so it's it's uh, it's a window now which uh, we can overview very easily. So we have this window now. We will have a September window for the national team. Um, between now and September, I will have a lot of online meetings with my coaching staff. It's it's not that that much. Surely we have to prepare ourselves very, very well. So at the moment, it's, it's, it's just, uh, I have to say, a little bit less time for my family, but um, it's, it's possible to do both work. So you had a coach of the Ghana Black Stars or to adult there. It will not be an issue. He can't juggle the two jobs. It will not be an issue at all. For those that are worried, fret not. So that has been it for today. Talking about the nominees for the CAF Awards 2022, going to be held in Rabat, Morocco uh, for the first time in two years, 2019, the last time it was held. We also talked about uh, the new names for the Ghana national teams and Otoado's reassurance uh, that uh, juggling the Dortmund job with the Black Star job after signing a three extension will not be an issue at all. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week.